the reason that we did a lot of tap dancing or we put a little bit of, of it into a number is to show that this was an American thing. If we did purely classical work, a purely ballroom work, it could look, it could look like an Englishman or a Frenchman or something else. It's purely an American folk type of thing. But to dub the taps was, we had a wire reaching from our earphones up to a thing and a man walked around with it and you looked at yourself on the screen and you, you dubbed the taps afterwards. And it was very, it was, it was a pain in the neck. We all hated it. The ballet part of it was the hardest. Well, first of all, I was forever struggling with the floors. They had a mania for painting it in bright colors and some very conscientious prop men would come and shine it with dust cloths so that before I would start rehearsing it was like a mirror. Mm. Now everybody knows that you can't dance on a mirror. It's got to be rather unslippery, otherwise you just fall all the time. And I was, I believe, the first ballet dancer to hit MGM. Jean would always take me to the set and we would test the stage and oh, it was terrifying because it was so flat. You see, the stages that I danced on were always raked. So this was flat, endless, huge and completely slippery. So I would fall once or twice and Jean would then question me and I'd say, well, it's so slippery, Jean. I and then I would put rosin on my shoes and leave great big white marks. <laughs> so Jean said, well, it's terribly simple. All we have to do is repaint the floors. So every time we had a new set, we had to repaint the floors. And the painters got into the habit of just putting sand in when I had to, to dance somewhere. You see, on wood, you don't slip, but you, you can turn. The satin of your shoe just doesn't stay on the ground. But when you have sandy paint, it rips the satin and your foot turns. I mean, it just was frightening. The hardest picture we ever had to do was American in Paris because we had a choice of every song that Gershwin's ever wrote. Now you'd say, oh boy, what, what riches. But we didn't, know, we didn't know how to write around. We didn't know what to select. We spent more time trying to fit the songs in. And luckily we had Alan J. Lerner doing the script. And he was criticized for having a very lightweight and a very overly romantic script on American in Paris. I don't think we could ever have done American in Paris if we hadn't had somebody like Alan Lerner who could adapt every time an Ellie and I would change a song and put it in another place. He'd, he'd write into it. He was really a marvel. <laughs>